Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical and welcome back to another video. Today for you guys, I'm just bringing you an additional little bonus video to talk about some absolutely insane stuff that Nintendo decided to drop out of fucking nowhere. It's kind of the uh, the thing that they've been doing throughout this year, just essentially, uh, it seems like each month, they're just randomly announcing games over on their Twitter. Hey, this, this cool thing's coming. Check this out. Whoa, dude. <laughs> Hello, what? I kind of like this. It's, it's sort of like they're not announcing directs so much anymore anymore, but more so just straight up off the bat announcing games over on their Twitter. Uh, this way they don't set or build any sort of expectations of which, uh, and then of course uh, the direct comes on the day it's meant to come, and then people are ultimately disappointed, which seems to happen with pretty much almost every single live event that's been happening throughout this year. You, you can't please everyone, fellas. Uh, but however, yeah, they've decided to drop a bunch of fucking Mario goodness. This year is the 35th anniversary for the Mario franchise. We are getting uh, Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy in one nice juicy package coming actually later on this month. The 18th of September to be exact, which is absolutely awesome. Not too much more waiting to go. And this is actually known as uh, the Super Mario 3D All-Stars pack. This is actually a little callback to uh, another Super Mario package that ended up coming out way back when that included a bunch of the uh, Super Mario Brothers games as a bundle. This is of course focusing more so on the 3D Mario games. Now, this was actually and has been rumored for quite some time throughout this year, and it was more so leaning into the realm of, okay, it's pretty much going to happen. It's just more so when about Nintendo are going to be announcing this, and it's now, it's here, baby. A lot of insiders were saying all sorts of different stuff. There was also a lot of information that was floating around that heavily suggested that Nintendo were, of course, doing this. Uh, 3D World was also kind of thrown into these rumors as well, but 3D World is actually going to be getting its own standard alone uh, re-release on the Nintendo Switch with some new content too. The Switch version of that is going to be called uh, Super Mario 3D World Plus Bowser's Fury. Bowser's Fury is going to be the additional piece of content thrown in there. However, that doesn't actually release until February of next year. Definitely looking forward to the new 3D World stuff because although it wasn't the greatest 3D Mario game, ultimately I think a lot of people were let down uh, with how 3D World was meant to be the uh, sort of main 3D Mario title for the Wii U era, it was still an okay time. It just wasn't a true and traditional 3D Mario game in that sense, with the worlds being very small and kind of cut back. It was sort of a bite-sized 3D Mario to a certain degree that definitely threw in a lot of elements from uh, Super Mario 3D Land. But I'm most certainly excited for this to be re-released on Switch. I think that this game sort of deserves to get a second run around, especially considering the popularity of that of the Wii U just during the time and also with the game receiving some additional content that will make the package a little bit more enticing. The additional content is sort of up in the air at this point. It's known as Bowser's Fury. We got to see a little clip of what this sort of is uh, towards the end of the trailer. I'm hoping that this is going to be a new overworld added to the game. While there are a decent amount of overworlds in 3D World, that is something completely new as well as a new fresh outlook and take on level design would actually be kind of nice, especially ever since receiving Odyssey. I'm not saying that they're going to meld this game for the Bowser's Fury stuff into a true traditional 3D Mario um, in the form of its gameplay, but what this level of stage is sort of giving me vibes of is maybe the new stages that will be added, or at least this one if this is just going to be the only one, may actually be more expansive. There were just like a few different levels of stages that almost gave you vibes of an actual true 3D Mario game and were a little bit more expansive than the rest. It looks like this is a pretty lengthy level for the most part, but of course it's too early to tell as uh, this just doesn't give us a good enough idea as to what's going to be added. Over on the official Nintendo page for 3D World, it's saying of course it includes everything that the original game included, but also so much more. Additional details about what fun things this game has to offer will be revealed soon, so leading up to launch there'll be Obviously more directs and whatnot showing what this game includes, but so much more, it seems like we're most likely in for that of a new overworld. And I'm hoping expanded levels are something that we might get. There's also a new Mario Kart coming out called Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. This is some witchcraft, dude. I'm a bit... What it... Hello? How... <laughs> 
What is this Mario Kart in real life? It is a new Mario Kart game, but like there's a bit of a twist because it is going to require you to uh, buy an actual RC version of Mario sitting in his cart. You set up your own course around your house by setting down these little checkpoints. Uh, it looks like there's about a total of four of them and those will mark, I, I guess, like the different points that connect and make up the entire sort of track or circuit around your house. There's a camera on top of the little RC car and that is essentially going to display your very own home circuit on your TV while you're playing the game on your Switch. But physically, this RC car, which will be controlled via the uh, Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons or controller, whatever control scheme you're using, will physically be driving around the circuit that you've set up in your home in real life. It it's some mind-boggling crazy shit, dude. Like, hello, Nintendo. I'm very intrigued to know exactly how much that is going to cost, just because of the fact that it will include that extra little additional... Um, you know, thing that you'll need, the little RC car with the camera on top in order to play it. Uh, that's the whole idea of it, so it's probably gonna come at a premium price. I know a lot of people are a little bit disappointed about this though, because we are hanging out for Mario Kart 9. Uh, it was great to get Mario Kart 8 Deluxe with some, uh, you know, new additional features. I think a lot of people were a little bit let down that there weren't more tracks added to that game. It was just like a complete bundle with a few new characters and whatnot and some new power-ups. So yeah, I, I think at this point, we are, we are very thirsty for that new, true-to-the-bone Mario Kart experience, but we are getting this very interesting thing here. Um, I would have preferred Mario Kart 9, but you know, beggars cannot be choosers. Anyway, let's get back to the 3D All-Star stuff, because this is the meat and the potatoes of the entire thing, folks. Whew. Super Mario fucking Galaxy, baby, is coming to the Nintendo... Sweet! Dude, I, I cannot believe this. Like, I'm excited for 64, uh, although the accessibility of being able to play 64 is certainly there. You know, with emulators and all that kind of stuff. I guess you could say the same about Sunshine and Galaxy. Although, uh, having the whole peripheral thing uh, to, to be able to emulate Galaxy is a bit of a pain in the ass, so to have that ease of access there on the Nintendo Switch is beautiful. Galaxy is without a doubt my favorite 3D Mario game. Yes, even beyond that of Odyssey. I love Odyssey, but this baby right here, this sucker, oh my god. It's a little bit sad that we're not getting this bad boy also thrown into the mix too. I'm, I'm gonna miss you, but hopefully we'll see you on that Switch one day soon. You'll obviously be able to use the Joy-Cons in order to play this game because, of course, uh, the whole Wii mode and nunchuck scheme, it was required in order to play Galaxy. They are not touching up any textures or anything like that. It's not really improved graphics per se. That would have been a nice little bonus. They didn't really have to do too much in that department, but there's nothing really there. It's only increased resolution, which gotta say, I am excited for for Galaxy. It is a game that uh, has aged gracefully aside from the resolution. If you guys have seen some videos of Super Mario Galaxy emulated on Dolphin, running at like 4K and whatnot, it is beautiful. I understand we're not getting this game at 4K, but it's going to be a higher resolution than that of 480p on the Nintendo Wii. So yeah, seeing this game in like 1080p is gonna be just drop dead gorgeous. Still to this day, uh, the visuals hold up. It just needs that increased uh, resolution. I'm very excited for Sunshine. It's a Mario game that I have never ever experienced. And I know a lot of uh, Mario fans uh, hold that game up very, very high uh, within the whole standing point of what Mario game is the greatest of all time. So uh, very, very excited that I'm gonna finally be able to play that. It's the one 3D Mario game that I need to experience and have not yet experienced, so looking forward to doing exactly that. The super confusing thing about the 3D All-Stars pack though is it is going to be a limited release. Uh, this will only be available for six months physically and digitally, and then it is gone. I understand that the same was like this for the uh, old traditional Super Mario All-Stars pack that was a compilation of uh, quite a few of the different Super Mario Brothers games for the Nintendo Entertainment System. But I don't, I don't care about following traditions, really don't care. It just kind of seems like Nintendo are going into this with the mentality of, oh, if we make this limited, because we know that people drop to the fucking floor for these games, these games will sell like hotcakes, a baby. So I, I feel like Nintendo is sort of going into this with that exact mentality. They're gonna make a damn lot of money through this, trust me. Especially more so with knowing that, uh, yeah, it is going to be limited. So get in there while you can. We've only got six months to purchase it, and then, uh, 
then that's it. At the end of March 2021, uh, it will be gone. A lot of people are feeling it's because of the fact that Nintendo may eventually be planning to do a Nintendo 64 Mini or a GameCube Mini, you know, uh, Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and that could be a reason as to why they're making this only limited, so that there is still a reason to buy those mini consoles for like Sunshine or 64. If everyone's got All Stars, which by that point everyone will, I don't know why that would be a reason. Um, then they wouldn't end up buying the minis. I don't know if that's the reason that that's really fucking stupid in my opinion. However, I don't understand it, but I don't care. This is beautiful. I know you really shouldn't uh, support anti-consumerism, but it, it, it's Galaxy and it is 64 and it is sunshine. I'm wet. Now guys, I, I wanted to talk about this, no doubt about this, I don't talk about a lot of Nintendo stuff here on the channel, but this was one thing that I definitely had to gawk over. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions about all this Mario goodness in the comment section down below. I'm Cynical, and until next time guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.